This is an example of our six meter protruding wheel guard trailer with tandem axles and rated to three and a half ton. Now what that enables us to do is to bring the floor down as low as any trailer we make. So this trailer has the lowest floor. The other thing unique about this particular trailer is that it has a C channel that runs around the perimeter and that is meant to accept a SIP panel. So a SIP stands for structurally insulated panel and this customer has asked that we make that to receive a 50 mil SIP. So very skinny sort of uh, SIP panel. Most of the time we've made them for 90 mil uh, SIP panels but we can make it for uh, however you like. It still includes the UCM, the Unified Construction Method floor joist tie downs but does not have the stud wall tie downs. Instead, it has this C-channel. It has all the usual features that we have with our trailers. It's galvanized, it has underfloor storage, unified construction ready trailer, includes electrical cable for legally required outline marker lights, educational support, three hours consultation. So let's have a look at it. So one of the first things you notice about this trailer is that it does not have the 70 mil ball, which appears on all of our other four and a half ton trailers. This is a three and a half ton trailer, so it gets a 50 mil ball, very conventional. Uh, you're able to tow this with a Land Cruiser or it's still a substantial vehicle, but you're in the realm of a more commercially available uh, vehicle to tow your tiny house with. It has uh, the usual things that you'd expect on a Fred's tiny house trailer. The two compliance plates, one is for the trailer, which we're responsible for, and then the second compliance plate is for your caravan. We give you a spare tire and there is provision for an extra spool of cable to run your outline marker lights. And we give you the outline marker lights. This particular trailer doesn't have underfloor storage, but you can certainly get underfloor storage with this style of trailer as well. This particular trailer came in at 690 kilograms. I think that you could expect that a trailer without the C-channel would come in actually lighter than that, which is great if you're going to try and tow it with three and a half ton vehicle, you want to have your trailer as light as possible.